Hey everyone, today I have another storage tech contraption. This one is a shulker box merger. So what it does is it takes two shulker boxes, for instance this one with 64, and this one with only 32 items uh, left, and it merges them together in a single shulker box. So for instance this one would be left with 32 items and this one would become completely full. Uh, now the way you operate this is you simply take your two shulker boxes and place them in whatever order in this chest. Then they get compared and the most full goes in this water stream and the least full goes in this one. Now, um, this is a bunch of uh, merging silos, so they're too wide stackable, so it can operate in parallel. Now, the two shulker boxes are in the first one over here, but if I were to place two new ones while this is running, then they would go in the second silo and so on and so forth. So now, these ones should be done soon. There they are. And now, we can take them in the output chest, and there we go, this one's full, and this one has only 32 items left. Um, now the reason, uh, the, the way this works in detail, I don't want to go into too much detail because this is actually quite compact. Um, let me take a few shulker boxes over here. Um, maybe strip out a few items so get it faster. Okay. So let's say I put a shulker box over here and another one over here. Then um, one of them gets dispensed here, the other gets dropped from this dropper into the second one over here. And now when this one is full, it's going to get um, removed, hopefully in a few seconds. There we go. And then the second box gets dispensed in this place. Now the reason we have to dispense the second box once again is because if, say, the first box was full, then there would still be some items left in this hopper and we have to take those items and place them back into the first box. Um, now, while this is all happening, uh, maybe we can see it again. Uh, while this is all happening, then this block gets pushed over here to block the hopper so that the shulker boxes will go into the other modules. And that's pretty much it over how this works. The logic is just to take care of all the edge cases so this really does work in every situation. Now there's two ways that this could, uh, like that she would uh, remove the shulker boxes. One is if this one gets full, the other is if this one gets empty. It takes care of both of that. It also takes care of say this one only has one slot available. It takes care of this one has uh, only one item inside. It works every time. It doesn't work however if you have an empty shulker box, but those are easy enough to, show, to sort out previously. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, now the reason why I built this is because a while ago I made a variable item type uh, sh uh, shulker box sorter. So basically a sorter that can handle any item. But um, I had a somewhat of a problem that it can uh, sometimes not fill up shulker boxes completely. For instance, what if you just put in 64 items, then it's only going to put 64 items in a shulker box. And essentially for my sorter, I need to um, only sort full shulker boxes. So then I can just put them into this... Uh, parallel merger and it doesn't affect the speed of the overall so uh, storage system because it's completely parallel. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.